in the National League, who's the best team? I mean, if you had to put your marker on a team in the NL out of all these teams that we've thrown out there, who, who would it be? I, I, the, the Dodgers are the deepest team. You know, I had a game the other day where they had five guys on their bench who had hit 20 homers this year. It's just that they, their bench is better than some teams' lineups. And, you know, depth helps you survive the season. Whether depth helps you win the World Series is a whole other story. But I, I think if you look at the entire National League field, there's so many flaws in every team. The Dodgers have the fewest flaws. So I would pick them, but then am I picking a Dodgers-Astros World Series rematch? That never happens. I know. But first got to get there. It just seems that they yep. just can't get on track every single time you think they're in and then they're rolling like last year. Something happens, right? And you know what I am telling my Dodger friends around here, and, and it's kind of heresy for them. I'm like, either Seager is going to have to learn another position or Turner's gone because I don't think they're letting Manny Machado walk out of here, certainly if they make the playoffs and see what this young man can do. He is dynamite. What do you think? Uh, I, I actually don't think that Manny winds up back in L.A. Really? Anything's possible. But um, Justin Turner is so important to that team. I know he is. Seager's so important to that team. Um, the left side of their infield is probably the most settled part of their team, unless Corey Seager's got long-term issues and he's not going to be able to throw the ball across the diamond. That would change everything. Um, you know, one of the Dodgers people said to me after they made that trade, when I asked about this very thing, we don't do this. You know, we don't, we don't do the eight-year, ten-year contract at $200, $300, $400 million. And I really think that Manny Machado is going to wind up with the team that puts the biggest pile of money in front of him. I, I just don't think that's going to be the Dodgers. No. Uh, look, I, I, he's so good, man. I mean, like, I don't know how you let somebody <laughs> that good walk. Certainly, if they make the playoffs, I think he's going to have an incredible October. And if he's a difference maker for them, when it all online, yeah. you, you, you've seen the, with, with, with the Dodgers the last few years, even last year in the – in the playoffs, uh, getting to Game Seven, just getting scratching out runs sometimes for them was so difficult. I I, I don't know. I I'm for again, you're 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 the insider, obviously, with the the Athletic and, and MLB Network. It just strikes me that that would be tough to let him walk if he has an incredible I, October. Right. Um, I, I I just think it's a different climate. It's a different front office. Okay. Than back in the days of the last Manny. Right when you know after Manny Ramirez did what he did in 2008, um, there was just so much sentiment and so much emotion that they had to bring him back. I don't think this front office makes emotional decisions, and so if if Manny Machado is to return, it's a baseball decision. It's a financial decision. It would be really contingent on how many years and dollars the investment would have to be. I, it, this is, I don't want to say they're cold-blooded, but they're not going to get caught up in the sentiment, even if the sentiment follows them winning the World Series. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.